boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well done. Um, you're learning. It's, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, some of the physical things would be more extreme um, that he does. I think if, if you're the sort of person that likes pranks and, and likes hijinks, th then there's always a risk that you're going to overstep the mark at some stage. But David's a bit different from his dad. I actually, no, I actually don't even like the fact of drugs or anything. I would try things, but I'd like to try the, like the fact, the feeling of like mushrooms or like tripping out, like it's having a bit of a, like a good trip. But it's not the fact that I just, I just wouldn't like it because you would be out, not out of your own control. And it's like I've tried a weed a little bit, um, but that's it. That's the only thing I've tried. I don't think my dad would be that bothered if I. Obviously, you, you want to experience something. Oh, that's that's a Tommy who's so sick in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Right, well, OK. It, well, it's obviously... Um, not news to me, but anyway, yeah, OK. I mean, the, yes, the, the news he's tried weed is new oh, to told, me. Oh, he's told me. Um, but, I mean, it, it's, it's interesting, and I will have a word with him, because... Um, and just, again, explain the, the dangers of, of going down that road. I mean, how little or how want or how occasional it is, mm. it, it's a dangerous game to go down. Mm. Um, and, and that... And I accept that, yes, he does drink to excess, mm. But it's not illegal and it won't stop his career. No. Drugs will stop his career dead. Probably for the first time, you, you've seen a, a more agitated port, and he obviously wasn't comfortable with that. And I, I can understand that because I, I really don't, really, really don't want Griggs taking drugs and, and experimenting. And what, but um, hopefully, I've got a more, I've got a fairly stable way of dealing with that. And you know, it. It probably doesn't wind me up quite like he does it, but I really, really don't want him to do it. At reception, David's arranged to meet Catherine for one last time, in the hope of staying in touch. But Catherine prefers to play it cool. Is it all right then if I get your number? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay. It's cool. Is this, is this just for you, this, this little minibus, or this for everyone, do you reckon? Yeah, it's for us, yeah. Cool, cool. We'll so, Right, get them safe, head for that. Okay. No, he's, he's getting it. Right, chill out. Have a good rest of your holiday. I will do. I'm, I'm going to miss her when she's gone a little bit, but it's been nice to meet her. She's a lovely girl and just hope she has, has a good life and takes care of herself. It's the end of five days of secretly watching their son, and tonight Chris and Tracy are going to reveal all to Greg. It's a scary moment, I guess. We, we find out how he reacts. We go and tell him and confront him with what he's been up to. I can't wait to see his face. With their holiday almost over, tonight the boys are off for dinner at a Greek taverna. Hopefully he's not drunk so much he doesn't even recognise us when we get there. The restaurant owners have set Greg a challenge. As Chris and Tracy arrive, only metres away, Greg has to balance as many glasses on his head as possible. But a tipsy Greg is finding it hard. <laughs> he hasn't even noticed. <laughs> what the? Griggs, you and I need a few words. Tracy and I have been following you around town. No way. I'm imagining this. I'm <laughs> Shall I help you off with yeah, that? Yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> He's a... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> unbelievable. So unbelievably. So... When I'm standing there, you're like, Tracy, you're looking pretty tan. I'm not going to. With that first club, you were at the bar upstairs. You and, Dar you and Darcy were standing at the top together by, by the closed bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, right yeah. behind you was a door. And we were standing behind, <laughs> that, we were standing behind that door, you. 10 foot away. <laughs> I'm still convinced I'm seeing things at the yeah. moment. It's not down I'm to big I've just drunk a lot. I'm passed out somewhere in this street. <laughs> this is a vision. We know everything now. So. That is weird. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs>
<laughs> this is mental. Literally, I, I, this is the last thing I would have imagined. Yeah, but is it right if I sick Chris Dan and tell him what like, Clark Gregg was? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, but your son is just a twat. <laughs> Chris decides to explain to Greg what a week of spying has revealed. Interesting watching how you act within the group of four, um, four guys, and uh, you, you're quite... Uh, Pushy and demanding with them, aren't you? And you, you, you want to get your own way with, with them a lot. The he wants to be new Uno. <laughs> yeah. There's quite a few occasions, aren't there, where you've actually sort of not prepared to forgive until they apologise to you. Yeah. But you I, can never apologise back. I made Darcy and Jamie say sorry to me. Yeah, but there's been other occasions. <laughs> and it all, it's got made up each time that they apologise to you. And then you give them a hug, but you never manage to say, like, yeah, I'm sorry, mate, T. Yeah, but I do, I'm not going to say sorry for something I haven't done wrong, and I know that I'm in the wrong. Like, yeah, but how do you know that you haven't been wrong too? I think you, you can see telltale signs where maybe I've been a bit soft and you know, he has been able to get his own way from time to time. But I think he's ready to go off to university. Yes, he'll overdo things and do some daft things from time to time, but fundamentally he's going to be survive, able to survive when he goes out to the big wide world. I think this whole experience would probably brought us slightly closer together just because of the fact they've literally, now they know like in depth what goes on when we go to holidays like this. Cheers guys, cheers, cheers. happy holidays. As Chris and Tracy have a drink with the lads, Paul and Sue are preparing to reveal themselves to David. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm a 12. I'm yeah. really, really, really excited. We've watched everything you've done yeah. and we now know what you get up to. The Blackpool boys are heading out for one last blowout on the strip. Let's make the most of it, do you know what I mean? Let's get around the matter. Proper naughty bag balls. And they're up for a big night. <laughs> Metres away, Paul and Sue arrive. Now we just got to try and spot him. Where was he? In the red shirt. In the red shirt? Oh, yeah, there. David! David! Ah! <laughs> This is mum and dad. Oh. Ah, go and give him a big kiss, on, David. Go on, go on, David. Go on, David. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> how, how is he to get here? It, what do you mean to get what here? Mean, how long? How long? We've been here five days. We've been here all the time, watching you. Do you remember you were over there on that booking bronco? We were, we were there. We, see up there, <laughs> see up there. We were, in, we were in costumes, I was an alien. He was like Frankenstein. We were up there watching you, you were atrocious. We, we know everything about this week. <laughs> David. Every, every, every night they've been watching us every day, fucking fancy dressing night. They've never us every day. Mate, they've not been... Yeah. David, yeah. I saw you doing that dare with well, the I'm little, not, getting in the little black, um, yeah, boxes, black, black, black boxes, boxes, going to strip, dare. running down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see yeah. us bungee jumping? What about yeah. that? Oh, that was lovely. <laughs> Who went naked? Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Donkey went, Man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a donkey. We've seen the photos now. Oh, you're so proud of you, Chris. Your what is your so mum going to say about you? you? Yes. Proud of you. That's all right, then. What's this, magic mushrooms? Yeah, I want to show what magic mushrooms are like. Well, you can forget that, my no, friend. No, 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 no. no magic. Oh, no you magic can forget mushrooms. that. Hey. Yeah. No. yeah. No. <laughs> that, that, that is a no-no. Oh, no. oh, we get wasted and I'm not. <laughs> yeah, now we have to now. To be honest, I was a bit speechless at first. I didn't know what to say, I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I would have fucking died. I would have been so embarrassed if my mum's had her I would have just been like that. I wouldn't know what to say to him. He handled it well, I reckon. He handled it, he did handle it. Yeah. Next day, Mum and Dad talk through their impressions of the week. I would love to say to you that I was very proud mm -hmm. of, I say, A, the way you behaved mm -hmm. and the way you um, comported yourself, and also your um, mature attitude regarding your relationship with your father. L literally, um, it, it made me feel very proud that you could be adult enough to say that and, and not think, oh, Dad doesn't care, whatever, and just let it drift. I'm actually glad that the fact that uh, you are proud of me waiting until the RAF and I've actually got the text now and you can't wait for me to join up and just like, grow up and be a man now, really. It's been a, a, a privilege um, to have done this and um, I'm really, I say, pleased and proud that um, you are my son. And just like Paul, Greg's dad is also preparing for his son to fly the nest. 
We see quite a lot of what you've been up to, really. It, it, it's, it's great to see you being able to go out and do things on your own and know that you can survive and keep yourself in one piece and you know, make it back afterwards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sentimental <laughs> but things didn't end there for Greg. In an echo of Sue's concerns about his behaviour, he had a serious accident. At 8am on the final morning of the trip when filming had finished, Greg, who'd had a big night out, dived into the shallow end of the pool. He broke a vertebra and spent 10 days recovering in hospital with a concerned dad at his bedside. Fortunately, he is now expected to make a full recovery but he's had to postpone going to university for a year. It does make me think I need to be more cautious, but I can't see myself limiting myself that much and being really cautious as a person, because that's not what I'm like. So, yeah, it, do, it does make you think twice a little bit, and definitely <laughs> when it comes to diving into pools and stuff like that, I would, I would always think twice about that now. Next time, in Cavos in Corfu, the girls get messy dare to bear all in fancy dress and test the nerves of one of the UK's strictest dads. That is ridiculous. Yes. The dangerous pleasure season continues with our drugs work, cocaine, Thursday